Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 17 of this super amazing, awesome Osu Let's Play series. In the last episode, I showed you guys some cool key sounded maps, which is a special type of custom hit sound. And in this episode, I want to talk about different basic kinds of patterns, I guess basic terminology when it comes to describing different kinds of maps. Specifically, today I want to go into jump maps, but I'm also going to shed some light on exactly what you call different kinds of patterns. So shout out to Joanne, by the way, for suggesting this topic in the comments of the last episode. In case you guys don't know, I do take suggestions for topics for these episodes in the comments because I do read all of them. So if you have a suggestion on something you would want me to cover, then please leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to at least read it. <laughs> so, uh, and also before I go any further, I want to shout out as usual that I live stream every single day over at twitch.tv slash digital hypno. That will be linked in the description, but if you want to just hang out with me or watch me play this game live, I highly, highly recommend stopping by there. And bonus points, if you tell me that you came from this Let's Play series, I will be very, very happy to see you there. So yes, let's get started. So I have four maps in particular that I have lined up for you guys. Oh, actually, I just remembered I'm not in full screen mode. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to switch to full screen mode. So you go to your options and there's this button here and you have a warning actually when you're not in full screen mode, um, but you can press hold alt and enter. That will toggle full screen mode. So I just did that and now you can see that it has uh, turned on. So. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Here's the first map of the episode that I'm going to show you guys. This is a somewhat basic demonstration of what a jump map is, I would say. Oh, effect volume as well. Okay, okay. So I, actually, I'm not sure if I've ever described this, but just put your mouse over one of them and then you can use your scroll wheel. Uh, use your scroll wheel and that'll scroll in increments of five is what I do to change effect volume. But yes, anyway, so Jump, I think, okay, so the pattern jump gets its name from literally like needing to jump your cursor, uh, cursor from like one circle to um, yeah, another. So basically circles that have some sort of spacing to them where there's a large emphasis on aim and cursor movement. So this is a very slow yet pretty good demonstration, especially later on in the map when we get to the chorus or ki as it's also sometimes referred to, k-i-a-i. So, okay, other other patterns in, in this map. So I, I will shout out now, um, if you're interested, especially in like terminology for different like bursts and like streams and things like that, in my video named OCPHD, I covered different names, like terminology of bursts and things like that in the streaming section, so. Definitely check that video out. It will be linked in the description. Oh, stream. Nice stream. Okay, jumps. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is... Yeah, hey guys, episode 17. This is what a jump is. Um, so there's different, I guess, categories of jumps that people um, sometimes use to describe jumps in more detail. So the term anti-jump, I'm not sure if any of the maps... Oh, actually... Maybe some, uh, there's one map that I have lined up to show you guys that I think might be a good example of anti-jumps, but basically it's a jump that like is characterized by somewhat awkward cursor movement or some sort of unconventional or uncomfortable angle that you have to aim or some sort of unnatural like cursor speed change or like velocity change. Um, Stuff like linear, I, I, I don't know. It, it's it's somewhat hard to describe, but basically, if the jump is not comfortable, but it's obviously still a jump, then you usually call it anti-jumps. So A N T I dash jump, I would say. I don't think people say it with the space, but I guess you could. Oh, big jumps, big jumps. <laughs> um, relative to the map, those jumps were actually pretty big. Uh, it, it feels like I need offset on this map. Maybe I'm just hitting too early. Offset. Uh, I think I've somewhat described offset um, in a previous episode, but it's also described in OCPHD. You guys should check out that video. Um, that is in the accuracy section. But yes, I think. Uh, yeah, how do I describe this? I, I want to make a note about like 
tablet versus mouse, I feel like. Although, to be fair, like, especially in regards to jumps, although I'm not super knowledgeable on, like, the little details of... Oh, stream. Little details of mouse gameplay when it comes to playing jumps. But... Okay, so the rhythm... Okay, so I'll talk about the rhythm of jumps. So, the rhythm is 1-2 rhythm. So this rhythm here of, like, every jump pattern of where it's just circles, this is what's called 1-2 rhythm, or people also just call it single taps. So single tap speed is another way you can call it. So, yeah, I actually, I don't remember, I probably should have checked what BPM this song is, but whatever BPM this song is, you would just call it like that BPM single taps. And then streams are exactly like twice the speed. So basically it's like single tapping, like, like between both your fingers. Like one after the other, but like the same speed, I guess. Uh, I remember someone described playing a triple as like you're just single tapping, but then like you tap once with your other finger as well. Okay, let me let me check this BPM. What's the BPM? One thirty. Okay, yeah. So this would be considered one thirty BPM single taps. So, just as a pointer. Okay, let's grab the next map link that I want to show you guys. Um, okay, so this is I think a pretty good example of anti jumps. Um, and again, to get this number, I'm just grabbing the end number that's in the beatmap URL and copying that and pasting it into my song list. That is a very convenient way to jump straight to a specific map. But right, let's play this map with hidden because I apparently do have a hidden score on this already. Um, okay. So this is. Oh, oh, I can't read hidden anymore, apparently. Let's see. Wait, what is the BPM? I should have probably checked that. Okay, 200, 200. Okay, so this is 200 BPM single taps, um, or um, one two rhythm. Um, and okay, so by the way, when, when I say one two, you, it, it is written as like one slash two. Oh, okay, okay. Oh shoot, okay. I, I probably should have should have warned you guys about that pattern. Okay, so a good example of anti jumps. So yeah, I'm gonna play the map again because it's a very good. Actually, I'll just show you in the editor. Okay, so. In case you guys don't remember, you right-click the panel and press 5 very quickly. And that will take you to the editor. All right, let's 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 look at this jump. This is anti-jump. Uh, I think I passed. Okay, yeah, yeah, here, here, here. So let me slow it down and play it. Okay, so very, very awkward type of angle, obviously, but it is still a jump. And this is, I think, a good example of anti-jump. But as you can see, actually, if, if you highlight all the notes, and I can do it in the object timeline at the top there, but um, if you highlight all the notes here, it is actually nice nice and symmetrical. It's very awesome. <laughs> a lot of old maps, I think, really strive off of that like pattern symmetry in a sense. But yes, this is a good high quality. As usual, all the maps that I play in these episodes will be linked in the description if you want to check out any of them. But yeah, good high quality, I guess, practice map, sample map of like different kinds of jumps. I think, yeah, there's some iconic patterns in this map for sure. I like this map a lot. So these more linear um, single taps, yeah, okay, so like that one, for example, where you're really just moving your cursor like, in a straight line, those aren't really considered jumps. What are they called? Just like linear single taps or like linear pattern. I think that's usually what people call them. Oh, square, square jumps. Oh, no, I missed a freak. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, other terms. I'm not sure if any of the um, maps that I have picked out have an example of this, but if there are like sliders that basically are like so spaced that it's effectively a jump, um, there's a term for that. Yeah, slider jumps. Um, so, like, hmm, okay, so there's a difference between that and like those really short sliders that have like the, the rhythm is basically just like one, two. Um, or, okay, so let me just write this so one slash. So when I say one two, it looks like this. Um, I'm not talking about like uh, one. There, okay, there's another term called one two jumps, where basically all the all the combos are um, like the, there's a new combo every two notes. So the circles. Okay, I, I probably I, I probably should not give a sample of that kind of map because mm, <laughs> topic for another time. But those those maps typically are only made to abuse the ranking system. But I digress. So when I say one-two rhythm, yeah, there's a difference. Oh, 
Wait, I just missed in the same way both times. Oh no. But I don't know. I, I don't even remember what I was saying about one two rhythm. Oh okay, yeah, so sliders. So really short sliders that are like very spaced. Um so so short sliders first of all, so like let's say Um There's so they're sliders, but you effectively tap them as if they're single taps. Those are called kick sliders. So they're so short that they're basically single taps. Um, but obviously they are sliders. Then in that case you call them kick sliders. So let's say there's like slider, 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 but it, it plays th just the same as if uh, you're tapping like you're tapping in a one-two rhythm still, and that is called kick sliders. So <laughs> hopefully that explanation somewhat made sense. I think okay. So the thing about jumps is that I think especially okay. So this is more regarding the ranking system and like jumps and, and how jumps became so prevalent. I would say jumps are the most like abusable pattern in the difficulty um, calculations eyes, I would say. Like really large spacing is something that the star rating calculation system sees large spacing and it's like, wow, this map must be really hard because you gotta really move your cursor. Um, but there's a lot to difficulty than just that. Like we saw that anti-jump pattern here, um, which I go back to the editor. Like this pattern, for example, this is not the most spaced pattern compared to like some other maps that I'm sure you've seen, <laughs> probably maps that you've seen me play in previous episodes, but um, patterns like these are a lot harder than they might seem in the difficulty calculations eyes. It is something that's being worked on, right? The developing or the difficulty calculation system is a work in progress, but that is something to keep in mind. Um, awkward patterns are not always rewarded or um, given the most accurate star rating to express exactly how difficult they are. Um, well, let me start the next map and we'll keep chatting about jumps and the ranking system. So uh, I would say like very large spacing, but oh yes, this is the next map, by the way. <laughs> start the map. Okay, let's go. Let's see. So large spacing with very comfortable angles tends to be just... So it's seen as challenging in the star rating system's eyes. So um, large rank gains if you're able to hit those patterns. But in reality, like it takes a very low amount of strain relative to other patterns that are like more quote unquote average, but not seen as inflated in the star rating system's eyes. So, oh god. Uh, where, where am I going with this? I'm, I'm going somewhere. Hey, okay, bear with me. Um, so, okay, yeah. So, basically, the energy to, like, uh, reward ratio. Oh, kick sliders. Oh, my God. Kick sliders in this map. Okay, maybe there will be more soon. You can skip the video back if you want. Those sliders, exactly what I was talking about by kick slider. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I think it takes a lot less energy than what the star rating would typically expect of like a certain kind of map or a certain difficulty basically and for that reason i think jumps have been like the most abused in this game because you just make very large spacing but the jumps are so comfortable that they're actually easier to hit than more typical types of patterns and oh, wow big ranks because the star rating system and the ranking system are very attached to each other. Okay, this map, this map goes pretty hard actually. It's just giant jumps in this map. I think it's especially towards the end. Okay, watch this, watch this. Oh, PP jumps. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, that, okay, that, that's another term that you might hear. So, okay, so PP map. Okay, so let's define what a PP map is because I, I think it's about time. So, um, basically what some maps do is they, all right, so let's say the map is like a minute long and the first 45 seconds is what's called free combo. Like the map is a lot easier in the first 45 seconds than the last 15. So it's effectively just there for you to build your combo up. Um, and then the ending is the ending. Oh, oh yeah, the ending. So <laughs> in the ending of the map, the mapper just puts like massive giant jumps 
typically one two jumps where just all the combos are just like in twos so that circle numbers are only one two one two one two those are called one two jumps um and uh, let's find the last map that i've prepared uh, hopefully i don't run out of map uh oh this is the last map that i wanted to show you guys um but yeah so basically let's say the first 45 seconds are around three and a half stars in difficulty not challenging at all and then at the end of the map is like 5.5 stars in difficulty it's a huge jump just because okay well <laughs> pun not intended a huge jump in difficulty just because of the massive massive spacing and because of the ending okay so basically the map it, so in the star ratings eyes oh kickstarter jumps <laughs> wait sorry <laughs> um in the star ratings eyes the map is as difficult as its hardest pattern so like if a map is 10 minutes long most of it is like four stars but then there's one like seven star jump and it'll boost the star rating up it won't necessarily be a seven star map but it is probably going to be very high in star rating it's definitely going to be higher than four stars even though that's what the majority of the map is so um, with with that um some mappers have abused the ranking system such that like they just have made so many maps that but uh, let's just follow this quote unquote like so it's usually called a pp map formula where the first bit of the like the, the majority of the start of the map is just a lot easier than the ending. And so like, here, here's the thing, right? So you play 45 seconds, right? So you get 75% through the map and you're, you're holding on solid full comboing. And then you get to the end of the map and obviously you miss because the map is a lot harder there. Um, but in the star rating system's eyes, it's like, wow. Um, so it thinks the map is like maybe five, 5.5 stars, even though in reality, the uh, um, the part that you got all your combo on was like not even four stars in difficulty, just like that section alone. And the star rating system sees that you got 75% combo in this five star map. Uh, but in reality, the part that you have seed was not actually five stars. Um, oh, actually, I'm not sure if I've ever defined what FC means. Yeah, FC means full combo. It means that you uh, got all the combo of that map, basically. You did not, did not die. <laughs> your combo did not die um but yeah hopefully that makes sense i think that, that effective like after years of just pp map after pp map and just like cults of mappers that just try to make as like abused of maps as possible that just like um i don't know just like manipulate the difficulty calculation algorithm make maps very comfortable to play while seeming very difficult in the star rating system's eyes. Um, and over the years, there have been what's called PP reworks, where they sort of rework the difficulty calculation system to hopefully balance things out and make those abuse PP abuse maps or PP maps a lot less rewarding or like a lot less overweighted, it's called. Um, so yes, hopefully those explanations were clear. I mostly just wanted to show you guys a, a more formal introduction to exactly what a jump is in this game and i guess a bit of an aside a, a ramble about pp maps pp jumps what they are how exactly a pp map is defined which is basically the map is much much easier for the majority and then there's just this giant difficulty spike at the end who's like it's the difficulty spikes sole purpose is just to inflate the star rating so that the map seems harder than it really is to the difficulty calculations eyes so that it gives you a lot more rank than it really should <laughs> and um yeah i think that that's why you might hear a lot of people say the ranking system is you know broken it doesn't matter blah 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 it's not representative i sort of agree i'm of the perspective that the uh ranking system is a matter of what scores you have set rather than the scores or like your abilities as a, as a player or capabilities or skill as a player so it's not really a measure of how good you are it's just a measure measure of what you have done like different scores that you have done so um yes hopefully all that is clear <laughs> um i'm not sure how often i will ramble on about the ranking system in this game but um th there's a lot to it <laughs> I, I will say that much uh, there there's a lot to this game in general as, as i'm sure you've probably noticed but i'm going to wrap up this video for today this episode hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys are watching in the future, as usual, I suggest you check out my channel, watch out my... I said that in the last episode too, and I didn't catch myself, but check out my um, future 
episodes, uploads. I upload videos every single day. And also, as I mentioned, I live stream every single day as well. And that will be linked in the description. But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.